Hey guys, it's Mary. So, the other day I received my Crafter's Companion magazine. Um, and I'm just, I don't know. Um, it says it's a new look, but the box is the old box. Um, it says it's issue number one. Um, we know that six, at least through HSN, was canceled, and the excuse was given that uh, they could not get it to us in time for the holidays. However, issue number five was the Christmas issue, so I don't think that is correct. Um, and so this issue has me curious, and that's why I'm going to show you guys. Um, and then you can let me know your thoughts. Um, or maybe you know something I don't know. I went online and nobody knew uh, why the magazine had changed. Um, I don't know. It's weird. So um, it looks almost normal on the front. Um, but when you get into the magazine, uh, like I said... Uh, the box is old because the, the last five have been coming uh, like in a portfolio with the magazine on one side and then the papers and then all the extras were in the little envelopes that are like the envelopes for the monthly subscription box. So um, this is nothing like those. And... I can say, and I'll show you these in a minute, um, that um, they didn't skimp on the goodies. Um, they are, um, they're, they're very nice, and I'll show you them in a minute. But, so when you look at the magazine, and I don't, uh, let me see, can you see the top of it? It looks the same. Um, doesn't, it feels like the old ones, um, it's that slick. The new ones have been coming there with a, like a harder uh, cover and it was textured. Um, but the thing I noticed was the hello. This is not Sara. Um, this is my cross. I don't know. My cross has nothing to do with Crafter's Companion. Um, he is the editor of Practical Publishing, which is, if you come over here and read the editorial information, is the publishing company that is now making the magazine. And none of these people here are the people that were... Uh, listed as the editorial people in the other issues. Um, used to say uh, Crafter's Companion down here. It doesn't. Nowhere does it say Crafter's Companion. <laughs> uh, Practical Publishing. And I did go on Practical Publishing's website and they publish a bunch of the different magazines that you can get at Barnes & Noble and Joann's. So, um, I don't know. Then when you come over here, we've got Crafters and in Inspiration. And then it says Craft World Headquarters, uh, www.craftworld.com. Because evidently, Practical Publishing, International, and Craft World. Down here, hopefully you can see it. Let me see if I can move this up a little bit. It says uh, www.craftworld.com or follow us on Facebook at Craftworld Headquarters. And there's a behind the scenes with Sarah. I, I don't know. And, you know, here's the Gemini. There isn't any advertisement in here that isn't... Um, Crafter's Companion, uh, Spectrum Noir. There's the tricolor pins. Um, 
I and the pages are now in here and have to be ripped out. Uh, and the pages are pretty. The paper. Um, so I don't know. You know, it still has what's in the box. And it talks um, about the different things, which I will show you in a minute. Um, but I don't know who any of these people are. You know, and then it talks about... Um, like this one, uh, you'll need the Circle Irish Folding Template. But so far, I haven't figured out where that is. And no, it's not in the magazine. There's a couple of things that says to go to some website. But I still haven't figured out what the, where this is. So, um, But I don't know who these people are. They're not uh, Craig or Leanne or anybody. Um, of course, I haven't been watching um very much of crafters tv um i don't like the new format i don't like that they uh had some sort of falling out with joe and he's no longer there and i do not believe that he left on his own and nobody can make me believe that um but that's just my opinion um yeah i don't know I don't know. So you tell me, like, what do you think? I know that they did a message that they were going to start the numbering system over because the magazine design had changed. But this is more than just a change. This is, like, nobody I know until you get way back here. way way back here to the end i mean there's some uh, nice projects but there's the new um uh rowing 20s um collection So let me know if these people are familiar to you because like I said, I don't watch as much as I used to because I don't like the format. And at the very end, here we go, a day at HSN and there's Sarah. That's the first time you actually see her after the first page or the front page. And it shows how they get ready for the shows in... Uh, in her studio for the HSN. And there's, here's Meet the Team, which is the product management. And um, I don't know who these people are. And I, I, I always thought that uh, Leanne was the project manager or the head of project development. But um, there's this Amy Gray person. I don't know who she is, so. I don't know. Maybe just too many changes for me. I don't know. Anyway, but I must say the goodies are exceptional. So this magazine came with a 5x7 rose stencil that has, you know, the, I can't read what the writing is, but it's, you know, fake. And then it came with a three-piece stencil uh, with a rose and the leaves. And I would show you what they look like, but they're not bagged like that anymore. They have nothing that says Crafters Companion on the back. It says Practical Publishing International. Manufactured on behalf of Crafters Companion. For all inquiries relating to this product, Product contact practical publishing international. So I don't know. Manufactured on the behalf. See, they're not even manufacturing them. I I don't get it. Um, and then this is a uh, sentiments. 
Uh, this one's still, the eye says just for you. And then there's an embossing folder that came with it. So like I said, the um, goodies are exceptional. Uh, you're in my thoughts. Where flowers bloom, so does hope. Thinking of you, happy birthday, thank you. I mean, it's a nice, it's called timeless florals. I don't know. Sending you lots of love, be your own kind of beautiful, never stop dreaming. So, um, I think it was $21.95 plus shipping and handling and tax through HSN. Um, I don't know if it's available on Crafter's Companion yet. I don't know if six will magically appear at Crafter's Companion. I don't know. I just don't know. What I do know is that if they continue to have this much product in them, I will continue. If not, then I probably won't. Um, pretty paper. And I've been t uh, subscribing to the magazine through HSN since the very beginning. So, these you have to cut out. And this looks just like the Caring Thoughts Bee. I think it was called Caring Thoughts. It looks very similar to that. I don't, I don't know. Yep. All right, so that's it. Crafters Companion, we're back to issue one. This is like the third issue one we have over the years. Could be more, I don't remember. But I do remember there is now three. So give me your thoughts. Did you get the magazine? Do you subscribe through HSN? Do you just pick it up when they're available at Crafters Companion? Um, I don't know. All right, enough of that. So that's it. Um, let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for watching. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much. If you're uh, thinking about subscribing, you can hit that subscribe button. And then if you hit that bell, it will uh, send you a notification when there's a new video. So you don't miss anything. And you can decide, oh, I want to see that one. Or, oh, no, I'll skip that one. Um, and um, hit that like button, please. Um, it makes um, Facebook happy and uh, it sends, the more likes you have, the more um, they'll recommend you to uh, people when they're searching. So I would appreciate that. So that's it. Let me know, comments. All right, until the next time, stay safe, stay well. Happy crafty. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.